for more. We're joined now by Tom Siebel, CEO and Chairman at C3 IoT, and of course the founder of Siebel Systems. Uh, not too long ago, sold to Oracle. Tom, great to have you here on set. Um, last you and I talked, we were talking about government and the Internet of Things and the possibilities for making uh, a lot of the work that the government does and the spending more efficient. How much is that a part of what's happening with infrastructure right now? How much should it be a part of what needs to happen with infrastructure? Oh, it'll be huge with everything we're going on with smart cities. Uh, the use of IoT and AI to optimize safety, cybersecurity, optimize traffic flow, um, uh, uh, route optimizations for airlines. So AI and IoT plays a major role in uh, all of these initiatives in infrastructure, defense, intel. Are, are, are the right people at the federal level and at the state and local level actually engaging on getting the right technology platforms involved from the beginning when we're talking about spending you know 1.5 trillion dollars on infrastructure well i'll give you a feel for the level of engagement recently one we run an award to do ai predictive maintenance for the entire united states air force now that's a pretty large contract and the person who came out and visited us uh, and is personally involved was the vice chairman of the joint chiefs of staff so i would say this is taking place <laughs> at a pretty high level yeah. Okay, and, and, and a week later, I had the opportunity to meet with the Secretary of State. So I, I think that this is about as senior as it gets, uh, as, it, as it relates to embracing this digital transformation and, um, you know, capturing the, the genie in the bottle of AI before somebody else does. It sounds like you think the uh, reputation of the government or the public sector as a philistine, a technological philistine, right, a laggard, always last to adopt could change. We could be in a new era like that. If you, uh, Carl, if you see what's happening today in defense, in logistics, in predictive maintenance, I mean, by using AI-based predictive maintenance, these people are running the defense can basically double the throw weight of the U.S. military by about 100 percent. I mean, so this is without building any new machines. So I would say the government is very much at the leading edge of this, particularly in intel, in defense, in transportation, in logistics. It's, 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 um, we're, they're not being dragged along. Right. What do you make of this new partnership between Amazon, Berkshire, JP Morgan, trying to tackle healthcare costs? What will the role of AI play there? I think Dr. Toby Cosgrove said yesterday, healthcare data is doubling every 73 days. I mean, is AI really the magic answer? And are these three entities going to help solve this problem for us in healthcare? Unquestionably, precision medicine will be the largest field for AI and IoT, hard stop. Okay, and now I think that it, these companies that are in the medical business, let's think about Walgreens, let's think about CVS, let's think about McKesson in San Francisco. If Amazon, for example, just goes into the pharmaceutical business, I mean, these companies are gone. And so we're going to see huge changes in healthcare with precision medicine using AI, IoT for disease prediction, uh, um, uh, AI-assisted medicine. It, this is a. This will be unquestionably the largest market for artificial intelligence. Immigration has been a hot button issue across the nation. Also in Silicon Valley, I know uh, you are growing at C3 IoT. You are hiring people from all kinds of backgrounds. Are you hearing what you want to hear from the Trump administration around immigration policy and getting the most talented engineers? Well, I, yes, I, we are hearing what we are here. So we're doubling our workforce this year. We're doubling our workforce next year. And the students that we're graduating out of Stanford, Harvard, Illinois, Berkeley, who are getting their master's degrees and PhDs in, say, data science, AI, and computer science from China, from South Korea, from Japan, from Europe, we're, we're making them go home, okay? I mean, this is crazy. We should be, you know, we should be stapling green cards to their diplomas. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a, a major brain drain. We're spending enormous federal dollars, tax dollars, training and educating these people, and then we don't allow them to work for us. It makes no sense at all. Well, Tom Siebel, wish we had a lot more time. We'll continue the conversation hopefully soon. Tom Siebel, founder and CEO of C3 IoT. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.